Okay, good morning everyone. My name is Lee Won Shang from Utah. I'm also the KLESF Secretariat. Welcome to today's workshop, Heart Autonomy Crossover Art Virtual Workshop. Thank you for taking time out and being here today. So just a description about this workshop. Um, today we will be talking about heart. So we all know that the heart has been regarded as the seat of the soul, spirit and intelligence by the ancient civilization. So from the biology point of view, the heart plays a vital role in the continuity of life. So the moment I will start stop beating, our life will cease. Okay, so in this workshop, we also uh, will learn a step-by-step -step, um, guide to draw an anatomically accurate diagram of the heart. Okay, so I, I just briefly talk about the objective of this workshop. Number one, to nurture the appreciation of the interdependence between arts and science to inculcate the patient towards anatomical science and to develop uh, psychomotor skills in STEM education by using arts as a conduit. Okay, so next, I would like to introduce our speakers today. There are two speakers today, Mr. Ho, Ho Wai Yu, and Ms. Chan Chan Zhe Jing. Mr. Ho is currently a lecturer in CFS Gampa. He is active in the field of microbiology. He is also a strong proponent of STEM education and actively uh, organizing trainings and seminars for educators. Then next, Ms. Chan, she is currently a senior lecturer in CFS Kampa also. She is very dedicated uh, in teaching biology courses and also a strong advocate for STEM education through speaking, uh, in talks, um, or science fair, exhibition, educational trips, competition, talks and workshops and so on. Okay, so if in case you are disconnected, please connect again. Or if you have any problem, please WhatsApp to KLSF uh, hotline or email. So I will assist you. Okay, now, so now without further ado, we will turn the time over to Mr. Ho and Ms. Chan. Thank you. Okay, uh, good morning everyone. Uh, my name is uh, Yu. I'm from uh, Center for Foundation Studies Kampa Campus. All right, uh, so a very warm welcome to every one of you. Thank you very much for participating in this, uh, this uh, workshop. Right, so as mentioned by uh, Miss Lee, I uh, will be teaching you how to draw uh, a human heart. Okay, so uh, as all of you know, the human heart is a very important organ. So without the heart, uh, every one of us cannot actually survive. Lah. Right, so uh, for your information, today we are going to have a short competition. So to encourage all of you uh, to draw as we uh, teach you how to draw, please uh, get your pen and paper ready. And at the end of this workshop, we'll be providing a link for you to upload your image. Okay, uh, we'll be leaving the link open up till uh, Monday so that you can uh, upload your drawing. Uh, the top five best drawings will be receiving gifts from us. Okay, so later on, I will provide you with the link. You can just uh, uh, type in your details and uh, we'll send the gift to you if uh, you happen to be in the top five. All right, so please uh, go get your pens and papers ready. Uh, for your information, uh, I will be demonstrating the uh, the external view of the heart, the frontal view, while Miss Chan will be uh, teaching you how to draw the cross section. Okay, so I'll be switching off the, uh, the camera and I'll be illustrating now. Okay, is everyone ready? Yes, Mr. Ho, we are ready. Okay, thank you. Okay, can you see my screen? The blank screen that I share? Uh, I'll be yes. using Autodesk Sketchbook. Yes, we can see your screen, Mr. Ho. Okay, so uh, we're going to start by drawing the lower half of the heart. So when you draw the lower half of the heart, it's roughly acorn shape. So acorn is not very common in Malaysia. Like, so most of you may not know what is acorn. Uh, imagine a mango that is tilted to the left. Right, so draw a shape that is uh, tilted about 120 degrees to the left. 
All right, so let's start now. Okay, is everyone following? Okay, I'll give you some time to draw the lower half of the uh, heart. Okay, so make sure it's tilted to the left. So for your information, because the heart is actually facing you, so your right hand side will be the left hand side. So this part here will be the left side of the heart. And this part will be the right side. So your drawing uh, must be tilted 120 degrees to the left. Okay, is everyone doing all right? All right, good. Okay, next we're going to draw the boundary. Okay, just draw a boundary here so that you know where to place the vessels later on. Okay, next. Make a rounded bump at the top of the heart for the right atrium. So now we're going to draw the right atrium. So grab your pencil and draw one right bump here. So this will be your right atrium. Okay, I hope everyone is doing well. Okay, next we're going to draw the vena cava, uh, specifically the superior vena cava. So you need to sketch a fork tube extending from the top of the rounded bump. Okay, so draw a tube coming from the top right hand of the atrium. Make sure the tube fork is about the same length as the bump you make for the right atrium chamber. For your information, the blood enters the right atrium through the superior vena cava. All right, there you go. Oh. And so you have your superior vena cover. So at the bottom, you have your, your inferior vena cover. Okay, next, we're going to draw the rounded iota tube next to the bump. You need to sketch an upside down U-shaped uh, tube that nestles next to the tubular vena cava that you drew. It should extend down into the left ventricle and make sure the aorta is wider than the vena cava. Okay, so make sure you draw a majestic U-shaped tube out there extending downwards so this would be your aortic arch okay okay do you have your aortic arch now okay now that we have the aortic arch ready we're going to sketch the tubular pulmonary artery going under and over the aorta. So we're going to start by drawing a tube directly below the aorta curve so that it fills the gap. Okay, so we're going to show that the pulmonary artery is actually emerging from your, uh, your right atrium okay so now we have another tube that is emerging from your right atrium so there you go you have your
you have your pulmonary as pulmonary artery okay so here it's going to be a little bit tricky so make sure you pay attention okay so this part will extend here rightwards uh, sorry leftwards Okay, like what uh, what we mentioned earlier, the pulmonary artery must go under the aorta. So you sketch one line down here. And then you fill in the gaps. Okay, we are almost done. So, let's make it neater over here. So Im emerging from the backwards. All right. Okay. So on the left side of the heart, we're going to show you how to draw the uh, left auricle. So within the auricle, you have your uh, left atrium. Okay. So uh, next to the left atrium, you draw some vessels and this would be your pulmonary vein which deliver oxygenated blood from the lungs to your uh, left side of the heart. So this would be your left atrium. Okay, so for greater details, we can show the branches of the aorta. So for your information, you have three di uh, different a smaller vessels arising from your aorta, so you can draw it here. One. Okay, so we're going to erase off the lines here to make it more realistic. All right, and then... Uh, Okay, so we have our heart here. So this part here will be occupied by your right ventricle. This would be your left ventricle. Okay, I'm going to label the major, major blood vessels. So as mentioned earlier, this would be your aorta. Okay, so this is the pulmonary vein, uh, sorry, pulmonary artery. Okay, this is the pulmonary vein, and so on and so forth. And there you go, you have your frontal view of the heart. Okay, uh, so I hope everyone is doing fine. Are you able to follow? If you have any question, uh, please ask. Z, yes, please label. K, because you are in the competition. K, is everyone doing fine? Are you Do you manage to uh, draw the frontal part of the heart? So if you wish, uh, you can add in more details, but because of uh, time constraint here, we won't be going into two details. Okay, you may want to add in the coronary artery in the front of the front part of the heart, or you may want to add in some coloration. All right, so that's it from my part. Okay, we'll be printing screen so that you can follow what we uh, we demonstrated earlier. All 
All right, any question before I pass the floor to Ms. Chan? Please feel free to ask. You may uh, switch on your microphone and ask. Okay, so uh, I believe you, uh, you have no question. So now I will uh, I will pass on the floor to Miss Chan. Miss Chan will introduce herself a little bit, and Miss Chan will be showing you the main part, the uh, the cross section view of the heart. All right, Miss Chan, over to you. Thank you. Good morning, everyone. So get ready another piece of uh, blank A4 paper, and we shall now uh, start to draw the cross section of the heart. Okay, I'll turn off the camera. And share screen. Huh? Can everybody see my screen? Right now, you should be seeing R on your left, L on your right hand side, and a line, a slanting line at the center. Are you seeing my screen? Okay, thank you. Right, um, I'm using a pen from your Windows accessories to draw the cross section of the heart. All right. So shall we start? Okay, along this uh, guideline reference line, okay, along this graph, uh, reference line, let us draw the basic shape of heart, uh, which shows the upper broad and lower tapering end. Okay, so once you get the shape, you can erase the reference line. Okay. Next, we want to make a little indentation at the side to mark the grooves that separate the atrium and the ventricle on both sides. Okay, so it would be somewhere here where you have the indentation. Next, we want to draw the superior and inferior vena cava. So that would be on the right, right side of the heart. Okay, you following? All right, next, uh, we want to draw the opening of pulmonary vein in the left atrium. So two tiny circles. Okay, up to here, can follow? What is next? Okay, next we want to draw the inner thickness of muscular heart walls. So to do this, we have to make sure a few things. The wall of atrium is thinner and the wall of ventricle is thicker. So must be reflected in your drawing. And also, left ventricle wall should be comparatively thicker than the right side. Start with left atrium. Oops.
Okay, we are now, uh, uh, we are done for atrium now. We move on, move on to ventricles. Okay, so this is the outline of right ventricle. Moving on to the left side. Okay, so now let us take a moment to check our drawing and see whether it's appropriate. Okay, make a little bit of adjustment. So just now uh, I mentioned the, uh, the left ventricle wall should be thicker, right? So must be reflected. So let us do a bit of adjustment over here. Let us make right side thinner. Okay, let us also improve the shape of the right atrium. left atrium. Okay. So now we have the general shape. We want to move on to draw the aorta followed by pulmonary artery. Okay. So to draw aorta, uh, it originates from the left ventricle. Okay. So left ventricle is here. Make a happy look at the top. This forms the aortic arch of the heart. So just now Mr. Ho mentioned this aorta should be magnificent. Okay. I can erase this part. In the next step, we will draw the pulmonary artery that originates from the right ventricle. So to give the uh, illusion of aorta going behind pulmonary artery, so when it is done, you have to erase um, the aorta at the overlapping area. Okay. It doesn't matter at this moment, the shape is not perfect. Can always perfect it later. All right, so basically, uh, this is how it looks like at this moment. Follow up to now. Okay. Uh, next, we want to work on these two blood vessels uh, to make to make them look better. Okay. So right now, uh, aorta looks okay, but pulmonary artery looks stiff. Okay. So we want to improve the shape.
Okay. So next we want to do the branches. Okay, let's do the let's do the branches for our pulmonary artery right now. Uh, one on uh, towards the left, the other towards the right. The one um, on the on the left should be in front of aorta. The left, uh, the right branch is beneath the aorta, behind the aorta. Okay, next we want to do our branches for aorta. So for this part, uh, let me enlarge. Alright, so the branches are here, three of them. Okay, we are done with the blood vessels. Okay, next. Uh, we want to define the ends of pulmonary artery and aorta and draw the valves. Okay, for this part, let me enlarge. Let me perfect the shape. A bit. So ladies and gentlemen, our drawing is almost done. Okay, let us now check the proportion and see whether it's okay. You may make adjustment here and there to make it better. We want to do the labeling. Oops, sorry, I missed something. I missed the pulmonary vein. So pulmonary vein should be here. Let's do the line first and we will one shot label later. Yeah? Oh, 
Okay, done for left side. Now moving on to right side. Alright, so here are the lines. Uh, these are the structures that we want to label. Okay, now to make your drawing appear uh, more tidy and neat. Sorry. So we want to uh, make the lines look neat. Okay, so same goes to the left side. Okay, so after this, you can do your labeling and your drawing would be very neat. Okay, let us start from the right hand side. Sorry, not right hand side. Let us start from the right heart. Pulmonary artery. Next, superior vena cava. Next one, we have right atrium. Followed by right ventricle. And inferior vena cava. Okay, moving on to the left side, we have aorta. The next one is pulmonary vein. Followed by left atrium. Left ventricle. Lastly, septum. That separates the right and left side of the heart. Okay, so we have completed the labeling. 
So finally, we can check the whole drawing one more time. If there is any part that you think is not nice, you want to make final adjustment, you can do it now. OK, so let's say I'm not happy with this part because the line is not smooth. So I can erase it and redraw to improve my drawing. We are not professional artists. We may not draw perfectly, uh, but no worry. We can always erase and improve. So now I'm happy with my drawing. I've labeled the parts that I want to label. So this drawing is completed. So ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much. Do you have any question? Uh, Miss Chan. Miss Chan. Thanks, Jin Xuan, I, for pointing. Yeah, yeah. I think that's a typo there. Uh, typo. Thank you, Jin Xuan. Let me do the correction. Thanks for pointing out. Okay, let me double check the other labels and see whether the spelling is correct. Thank you very much. If you have any question, you can type in the meeting chat. Okay, if no, then that's the end of my presentation. Thank you very much, everyone. Miss Lee, can I have a moment with the uh, participants? Sorry, Mr. Ho, there's a question. Jason asks, are they supposed to submit both or either one for the competition? You submit the best one, Jason. Jason, you submit the best one. Okay, uh, we'll be sharing you the link right now. Okay, uh, you may want to jot down the link so that you may submit your... Uh, your drawing later on. Uh, if you have any question, uh, please drop us uh, an email. Okay, I will be giving you my email address. Okay, you may also contact Miss Lee. Okay, uh, before before I pass on the floor to uh, Miss uh, Miss Lee, I would like to do a short promotion of our CFS uh, Foundation. Uh, activity so we'll be sharing you with this uh, this is uh, this is only for for Utahians okay uh, I would like to promote our event here so we have uh, come out with these uh, two workshops two workshops for scientists so the first one will be email etiquette for uh, junior scientists uh, will be on the 21st of October and the other one is crafting winning CVs and resumes Okay, so the workshop is only 25 ringgit with writing two kits, refreshment and certificate of participation. So uh, we know that email and also resumes play an important role in uh, improving your employability. So because of this, uh, we have uh, specifically designed for scientists. So if you happen to be in Kampa campus from 21st of October and you are interested, uh, you may join. Okay, we'll be leaving the poster in the uh, in the chat box later on. Okay, so I've done the promotion and make sure you submit your drawing. Uh, make sure you submit your drawing by Monday. 
All right, thank you very much. So on behalf of uh, CFS Kampar and Ms. Chan, we would like to thank you very much for your time. All right, so over to you, Ms. Lee. Thank you very much. Okay, thank you, Mr. Ho and Ms. Chan for the drawing. Uh, uh, Ko Yong Chi, you say that the form can't open. Uh, Yong Chi, uh, I believe you are using. Uh, Yong Chi, I think I believe you are using the Utah Mail, so uh, you may submit using your personal Gmail because uh, Utah Mail they have uh, added security feature, so you may need to sign in using your personal Gmail account. All right. Okay, if you if you uh, didn't manage to submit, you can free. Uh, you may also submit to my email. Okay. So should any one of you face any problem, uh, just send your drawing over to my mail. Is that okay? Uh, Jai, no, it's not a must. So if you wish to take part, you may submit. If you don't wish to submit, then it's optional. Okay, Miss Lee. Okay, so... Um, uh, before we end, so I would like to uh, just to remind that we have to pay a feedback form. I just type the link one moment. Okay, so uh, we have to pay a feedback form. We we'll appreciate if you could help us to fill out the feedback. Okay, so if you would like to take part in the competition, um, just submit your drawing using the link given by Mr. Hall. Um, okay, so now anyone, do you have any questions? Feel free to ask. If, if you like to ask about a heart or any our organ, maybe Mr. Ho can answer you. Okay, okay anyone, do you have any questions? Okay, so while waiting for uh, if anyone have any question, um, just now Mr. Ho promoted the workshop. If you are interested, you can contact uh, him or register from the QR code given. Okay, um, is everything okay now? Okay, thank you. Thank you, Cindy. Thank you, Aru. Uh, Sorry, I don't know how to pronounce your name. Okay, okay, Jason. While waiting for um, for questions, I just re uh, would like to repeat. I posted a link for feedback form, so I uh, hope that uh, you can provide us your response to help us to improve um, the workshop and future workshop. If you would like to know more about KISF virtual events, please like our Facebook page. We will be updating our virtual event at our page.
Um, Mr. Hall, um, I noticed there's a question previously who was uh, from our participants mentioned that does heart feel will sorry, does heart will feel pain after someone had experienced something that is unbelievable? Just curious is that are you able to answer this question? Ah, uh, Miss Lee. Uh, we are not too sure about what kind of emotional, uh, you know, pain that someone is going through. Uh, definitely there have been reports of pain, you know, heart pain, you know, when you, when you put those chinta or something like this, some people, when you watch Hong Kong drama, they will place their hand over their heart. You know, uh, pain, there are multiple levels of pain, so I won't say there won't be any physical pain, but sometimes, you know, different people may, may have different ways of coping with emotional distress. So certainly, I believe that some people do, do feel pain emitting from their heart. And for your information, sometimes the pain, if you feel the pain coming from, from that particular organ, not necessarily there's a problem with the organ, as you know, you know, they are our nerve, nerve circuits, they go everywhere. So I won't be able to answer precisely whether the pain is really emitting from the heart due to emotional emotional distress or not. Okay, I'm uh, really sorry about this. But uh, Ms. Chan and I, we, we are prepared to answer a question about the anatomy. La. But but thank you very much for the for the question. Okay, uh, perhaps uh, you could you could forward this question to uh, to cardiologists. Maybe they, okay. they are better equipped to answer you. Okay, thank you. Okay. Okay. Are you asking for the pain screen? Mr. Ho, could you please help to share the file? Because I tried multiple times somehow failed, failed to upload. Ms. Chan? Mr. Ho, could you please help me to upload the file? I tried a few times, but uh, somehow failed to upload. Uh, Ms. Chan, I'm also having difficulty uploading. Perhaps it's a system problem. Eh? Ms. Lee, can the students still uh, uh, access to the file if they leave the meeting later? Uh, uh, I also have a copy. I will keep the file at the at the general part there. All right, uh, Zi. I think later on, uh, if you wish to have a copy of uh, Miss Chan's drawing or my drawing, uh, you you may stay on in this uh, team for a short moment, and then we'll upload to the general part, like what Miss Lee said earlier. Okay. Thank you, Miss Lee. Uh, yeah. One moment. Uh, I'm also trying to share your print screen just now. Okay, so we hope uh, you have uh, learned something from this uh, workshop. Okay, you may want to show off to your, your drawing, to your parents or your friends. Right, so we hope you are doing well in the midst of a pandemic. Right, please do take care, especially those who are from red zones. Okay, as you may stay tuned to our KLESF page. Uh, Miss Lee, do you want to share the Facebook uh, page for them to like, Miss Lee? Because we are we are going to have more more competitions with uh, with great prizes uh, towards the end of the year we have mathematics competitions as well so Miss Lee will be sharing you the Facebook link so please uh, do give us a like okay for your information our KLESF have been championing the uh, the STEM education for years so every year uh, they have activities for for all of you so if you have brothers and sisters who are who are in school schooling ages you may want to promote this to them 
Okay, don't worry. Uh, this KLESF not is not is not going to sell you anything, right? So it's a non-profit organization. Okay, uh, Miss Lee, anything else before we leave? Um, no, um, just a reminder, please help us to fill out the feedback form, um, like our page. Um, okay, I, I think the participants should be getting the print screen, right? We, we just uploaded the file there. I think Jason has already uploaded. Thank you very much, Jason. Uh, we are experiencing heavy traffic right now on our site. So, uh, Ms. Chan, uh, Jason has already shared the image. Uh, okay, okay, I saw that. Thank you. I, uh, I also managed to upload in the general forum. So, if uh, anyone would like to uh, look at the drawing later, can search from the general forum as well. So I think everything is fine now. Okay, if you have any problem and you want to come back to this team group, you can uh, you can come back anytime. I will keep this group and we will uh, upload again the print screen if you are unable to, to view it. Okay, um, that's all from me, Mr. Ho and Ms. Chan. Uh, is your side okay? Any, uh, anyone submitted the <laughs> the drawing? Okay, and um, I think Ms. Chan and I are fine. Uh, we'd like to thank everyone once more. All right, thank you very much, and uh, enjoy your weekend. Thank you, everyone. Thank you. Bye. 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 Okay. Thank you, Ms. Ms. Chan, Ms. Ho. Thank, thanks everyone again for joining us. Thanks, Ms. Lee. Bye -bye. for today. Bye bye. Thank you, Ms. Tan. Okay, thank you. Thank you, everyone.